Here's problem seven, seven. A three kilogram block is on a horizontal surface. The block is at rest at t equals zero. A force P equal to 12 newtons acting parallel to the surface is applied to the block, causing it to accelerate. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface is 0.2. At what rate is the force P doing work on the block at t equal two seconds? What do we mean by the rate of force P doing work? Well, the rate of anything is something per time, and if you're thinking of something per time as work per time, that is power. Power is work per time. So we're looking for power. In particular, if we're looking for power, then we're looking for the dot product between a force and velocity. In this case, our force P times our velocity cosine zero will be our power. So we want to find the velocity of this block at t equal two seconds and that multiplied by the force P will give us the power. Okay, let's do a free by diagram of the block. Here's our mass equal to three kilograms. And we have a force P going to the right equal to 12 newtons. We have a frictional force to the left equal to mu times the normal force. We have the normal force, and we have the weight. And as a result of all this, it manages to accelerate to the right in the x direction. So that is our free by diagram for the block. Based on this, we can see that there's no motion in the y direction. So the summation of all the forces in the y direction is zero. That's equal to the normal force minus the weight. So the normal force will equal the weight, equal to mg, equal to 3 times 9.8, or 29.4 newtons. And then the frictional force is mu times normal force. That's going to be 0 0.2 times 29.4, which will give us 5.88 newtons. Okay, so let's figure out the acceleration so that we can figure out our velocity at t equal 2 seconds. So looking at the summation of the forces in the x direction, that should equal ma, and that should equal the net force in the direction of positive acceleration. And that's going to be equal to p minus the frictional force. In other words, 3 times a is going to equal 12 newtons minus 5.88 newtons or A is going to equal 6.12 divided by 3 or 2.04 meters per second squared. Nice to know. We want to find the velocity and we have a constant acceleration so we can apply kinematics we know that our final velocity will equal our initial velocity plus acceleration times time. In this case, our initial velocity is zero because we started from rest. So this is going to be equal to 2.04 meters per second squared times 2 seconds, or 4.08 meters per second. That's our velocity. Hence, at, the, at that moment, at t equal 2 seconds, our power will equal force P times the velocity, 12 newtons times 4.08 meters per second is going to be 48.96 joules per second or watts, or we'll, we can just round that to 49.0 watts. So at this moment, at t equal 2 seconds, the, uh, the power that P is exerting on the block is 49 watts.